Now we're going to look at scheduling the ARD with families. We've already completed our planning document or our spreadsheet. We've placed all the kids where they need to be. And we've also sent our Google invites um, to staff so that we are, we know that they're able to come on the date that we have it scheduled. When all that's done, it'll be time to send your notices to parents. You'll notice here we have four columns, first, second, third, and notes. These are actually going to be where you indicate um, on the spreadsheet what notices you have done. So first would be um, usually a phone call to parents. You're going to call and leave a message if you don't get anyone. Second is usually sending via our parent portal along with the procedural safeguards that get sent that way. And then third, I like to set up a scheduled send reminder with the Zoom link at the same time as I'm doing my first and second notices. Um, which means I don't have to come back and visit this again. Once I've done it, it's done and set to go. So when you're ready to go, you go into your notices, special education notices. You're gonna pick a student to work in, pick the student to work in. And then I'm gonna go down here to invitation to ARD meeting. So you can see here that we're gonna go ahead and enter the dates that we have done the notices. So if I called mom and mom said yes today, and that goes there. I'm also gonna go ahead and send the notice today through the parent portal. And then lastly, I am going to prepare for this meeting. Um, I'm already gonna go ahead and set up an email with the Zoom details to parents right now. And that's gonna be in um, about, about a week before. Then I enter the date of the ARD, 0207, the time. be a Zoom meeting. And then here, I like to put the name of the campus of the student. So um, training. Okay. And I'm going to go through here and I'm going to indicate anything that we need to discuss. This was an annual art and a read. So I mark that there. If the student is over the age of 13, You'll need to mark the student, otherwise you uncheck those boxes. And then anyone who's required to attend the ARD will get marked down here. We don't need speech for this one. Okay, click next. This screen you don't have. Then we're going to indicate what date we shared the notice of procedural safeguards. That's usually the same day that we share the invitation. We're going to put in the ARD facilitators name and email address and then it was sent in English um, great and then we're going to go ahead and put whatever staff we're returning this to you can put your name on here that's great if you spoke to mom and they said or dad and they said yes that sounds great we'll be there you check this box if not you leave it blank then we're going to click save go to the next page Again, you're going to put your contact information here, who you are, and your, and your role. And then you're going to go ahead and put in the dates. So maybe you left a message, and then that same day, you... That should be this. Sorry. And then if you're going to set it to schedule send right now, you can also enter whatever the schedule send date would be email and then I do this new email reminder with zoom link save and then I'm done I click save I click print archive I'm going to go ahead and print this invitation to our meeting final copy Then when I click print archive, I can look at this document to make sure it's right. So I'm noticing right here that there's this text here that I don't really want because we're not inviting a grandparent or a parent right now. Um, also, all this information here about a member being used. So I'm not going to save this. I'm not going to archive it. I'm going to X out. I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to go through. I'm going to uncheck that because we don't need that box anymore. 
And then on the next page, there were some boxes checked here that we don't need to have checked. Just going through, next. Okay, now I believe it's set to go. I'm gonna click print to archive again. Print final copy. Now, once again, I'm going to take a look and make sure that it's accurate. I can see that I have date and time are correct, what type of meeting it is. There's some comments down here that I don't really like. Um, and then the biggest thing is make sure that you have your record of contact attempts. We're going to call that good enough. And I'm going to click into the folder, SPED ARDS and Notices. And this is a notice, SPED notice, archive. Okay, great. Now I can actually go to my archive manager and I'm going to change the date on this. The reason why we want to change the date uh, is so that we um, is so that we know what meeting it's for. I'm going to click save, change the date, um, month, day, year. And then I'm going to go to DocuShare. And then I'm going to click on it just to make sure one more time, hey, is this really what I want to share? It's the right kid. Perfect. And then I click Share. And I have some options I can choose here for where it can get sent to, right? Um, click there. You can enter. Uh, a nice little thank you for agreeing to attend the ARD tomorrow. Here is your invitation, your notice. We will send the Zoom details a week before we are, something like that. You're all set to go. You click share. You can see if something has been shared because you'll be able to see this little green dot next to it. We click on it. You can see that then it's been shared and if they viewed it or not. Um, next, I will do another video for how you can use Schedule Send to get all three of your notices done at once.